Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new gameplay clips to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the new gameplay clips for the Generation 9 games. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have five brand new gameplay clips to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Uh, they're basically all the gameplay clips that also aired with the reveal of Wiglet. Um, we obviously did a video like a day ago, I don't know what day that went up, but either way, we went over like all the new gameplay screenshots, but now we actually have all of the like the new clips and stuff as well um, for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So, um, the first one, I do believe, is of like the farm kind of area. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can obviously listen to it as well. Um, but basically what it is, is it had like the gameplay clip and then all the people around it kind of talking about it and stuff like that. But either way, this is the first gameplay clip. So we have like the Mareep and the Smoliv. With like a truck there. I think that's a Squovit. And then we have Diglett borrowing underground. Then kind of popping up and then going underground again. And then he kind of like... It just keeps popping up and down. And then we've obviously got three of them here. And then they're again, they're in like a little kind of horde thing as well. Again, we spoke a little bit about it in the last video with uh, going over the gameplay screenshots and stuff. Um, but yeah, they, they just all seem to appear in like hordes and stuff. And then they're there together. And I do believe the actual screenshot is coming up in a second. Yeah, so this is obviously what the gameplay screenshot was from. Um, but either way, this is where the Diglets do kind of uh reside i guess i'm sure they pop up in other locations too but this is where the normal cantonian diglet does pop up and then i think that's pretty much the rest of the gameplay clip there um they're just there chilling bobbing their heads up and down so yeah that's the first gameplay clip there so yeah i think this is on the left of the paldea map like near the first gym like near the grass gym um potentially or the other it's basically near a city and it seems to be some sort of like farm location we know that smoliv pops up here we know that marie pops up here squover also seems to pop up here as well um this is obviously just for some sort of like farming i guess i i, I just guess delivering like food and stuff or something like that but yeah it might not even be like a farming area it just kind of looks like that to me uh, but that's the first gameplay clip the second gameplay clip we're going to go over is this one so there's actually quite a few things that we didn't see in the gameplay screenshot video that's obviously taken from this so this was from the kind of deserty area where cloth potentially is it's where um sandal was confirmed to be in the game um but either way let's just uh take a look at this one i don't know what that is there i i've got no idea what that is oh i think it's a fampy I think so the Spampy and Donphan actually pops up in this location, which kind of makes sense because obviously they're ground types. Obviously a lot of ground type and rock type Pokemon are going to pop up in this location. Uh, but we have like the three Sandals here just borrowing underground. And again, I don't know if you're going to be able to like catch them or not, like when they're kind of borrowing and stuff. But either way, we'll have to wait and see. But they're just kind of chilling, swimming under the sand, which is again really, really cool. I don't think they're going to attack the Donphan, no. So they're kind of just swimming, just like... A normal alligator or crocodile would swim in the water. We have Sandal here swimming through uh, the sand. And there's quite a lot of them here as well. Um, and I'm really, really happy this Pokemon's back in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Because I really do like the Crocodile line. But either way, they've got just kind of swim. They've even got like the tail kind of chucking the sand up as well. Like as they're kicking. Look how fast this one is. Jesus. They're actually really fast. They're, they're speed demons. So yeah, so she's just said there that they actually go underground uh, to stop them from being spotted by enemies and stuff. So maybe um, there are certain Pokemon that are quite timid and just like Legends Arceus, if you do approach them or they see you, they kind of like run away or something. So we have Crocodile, uh, Crocorock here, should I say. We, so we didn't actually see this before in the gameplay screenshots. I don't know why no one really like took a picture of this, but this is obviously uh, Crocorock here. Which, um, I don't think he's doing anything. I think he's just there chilling. Oh no, there he is, just yelling at something. So Crocorock and Sandal both appear in the wild as well, which is quite interesting. I don't know if Crocodile is going to as well, but... So yeah, Crocorock is just there, just chilling. I don't think anything else is really happening. No, they're kind of just talking about it. Yeah, he's just yelling again. But yeah, I don't know, I'm really happy that Sandal's in the game. But yeah, Sandal, Crocorock, 
potentially crocodile all up here in this location but yeah the sandal actually burrow underground to kind of dodge uh enemies and stuff like that so this i do believe is the squover greedon and potentially the applin location as well um so let's take a look at these gameplay clips so we have the greedon there i think this is the one where he's like nibbling on the orange as well yeah there he is nibbling on the orange He's just, that, that orange is not getting smaller. I, I wish I had a fruit that literally just wouldn't get smaller as I ate it. But again, as I said in the gameplay kind of screenshot video, um, I really like the idea of, of like Pokemon just kind of chilling in the natural habitat. Uh, just like animals would, you know, he's just eating an orange because he's got like nothing attacking him and no Pokemon trainer coming up trying to catch him. He's literally just nibbling on that orange, enjoying himself. And then, yeah, we have Applin in the tree. So, again, this confirmed that Applin, uh, Flapple, and Appleton are all also going to be in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Um, and, again, he's just hanging on for dear life from this tree. I don't really know why I've got my headphones on, to be fair. Like, they're literally just kind of talking. It's not actually showing any, like, new sounds or anything like that. So, yeah, Applin's there just kind of hanging from the tree. Again, the apple isn't actually part of the, the Pokemon. It is literally the kind of worm thing that is. But again, I don't know how you get them from the tree. I, maybe it falls or something like that. Because I'm sure there's another app. Uh, yeah, there's another Applin gameplay clip here. But again, I don't know how you get him down from the tree. So maybe there are some Pokemon that you literally just can't. Maybe you have to like knock the tree or something for that Pokemon to then fall down. And then that's how you encounter it. But yeah, he's just kind of using his tail. Like, like I said, I love how they've all got individual animations. Like Applin is literally using his tail there to kind of like bob up and down and like look around. And then he's rolling. He's off. He's gone. <laughs> so that's the Applin gameplay clip. We've got two more to go over. So we have the... Um, we have the... This is the Snova. The Obama Snow. Beer Tick and Cubchu also seem to be in this location as well. So this is like uh, the icy area at the top of Paldea. Where like the ice gym is and stuff like that. So we've got all of these just chilling. Again, another little horde going on with the Snova. Again, the camera is... There we go. So it's panning over all of the, the Pokemon here. Again, we know that like Satitan pops up near Cubchu and Beartic as well, and maybe Cryogonal. Like those are the kind of Pokemon that are going to appear here because obviously they're ice types. And again, it does look like some sort of uh, horde kind of uh, situation going on with these Pokemon. So this potentially could be a new shiny hunting method, similar to like hordes and, and, and stuff like that from previous games. But we'll have to obviously wait. I like There's obviously going to be new shiny hunting methods. So yeah, we have a couple more Snova there. Just kind of chilling, loving life. And then we've got the Obama Snow there. And Obama Snow is making a, like, I don't know, he's making some sort of, like, blizzard or something, or... I don't know what he's attacking. But yeah, then he's just kind of, he's just, he's just running the shop. You know, you know he owns the place. He's just kind of walking left and right. So yeah, that's the ice place. And then the last one we've got to go over is this one here. So this is of, like, the marshlands. And this is where, like, Psyduck is and Paldea and Wooper and stuff like that. Again, Psyduck is a Pokemon that pops up in different locations. Um, we know of two different locations it actually spawns in. One of them is obviously in the Marshlands. The other one is that pond with... I don't know where the Quillfish is um, from this. I haven't seen it. Um, but either way, there is a... Uh, obviously, we went over it in the gameplay screenshot um, video. But yeah, there's there's like Quillfish and uh, and uh, Psyduck. So we've got Paldea and Wooper here. Again, not sure what this evolves into. At the time I'm recording this, we, we haven't had any like other trailers apart from obviously the... Um, the wiggle at one. So yeah, Paul Dan Wooper just chilling there. It'd be kind of cool if they also showcased like the Quagsire form or whatever. Um, but yeah, obviously the, the only new Pokemon that got revealed during all these gameplay clips was of course Wigglet. Um, so yeah, they're just chilling there. One of them's sleeping there in the back. Again, it's raining here as well. So I don't know if they're using like random attacks or what, but like, like the Obama Snow just did it as well. Yeah, I don't really think much else is going on in this gameplay clip, I think. Yeah, there's a Psyduck in the background there as well. I think he's sleeping. Because obviously Pokemon do sleep in this game as well. And you can creep past them. Because you can creep in this game. Um, 
can like tiptoe around Pokemon. But those are all the new uh, gameplay clips for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Again, massive shout out to Pokekellos for kind of uh, getting them all in one place. Uh, this is obviously the Wiglet one as well. We don't need to go over this. This was just obviously when Wiglet was introduced. But either way, they are all the new gameplay clips for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts on any of the gameplay clips we went over. And again, are you a fan of like any of the Pokemon that were just recently like reintroduced back into Scarlet and Violet? Or are you still waiting for your favorite Pokemon to be in the Generation 9 games? But subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content so you don't miss anything like this. Uh, and yeah, until next time guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. And 